I'm almost done moving my website to Obsidian. There are other videos on this topic if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, today, I just want to give you an update of what's happening. This is a page where the site will start when you type my domain name. I, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep it on this about page, starting on this about page. I may make it start here on the blog page. You can change this, it's pretty easy. Again, in the future, I'll, near future, when I'm done with all this, I'll produce and publish uh, a video showing you how to set up and use Obsidian Publish. So this is one thing that I'm still debating. And here, as you can see, I have all my recent blog posts. I'm talking about recent blog posts because there is a lot in the past that I don't have here. Uh, I'm still converting old posts from old blogs and translating old posts from Portuguese to English. But the recent ones, the two or three years ago, they are all here. There are about 10 posts missing from this uh, recent batch and they'll be here in the next few days. Okay, so this is the blog. So let me show you how, how I'm setting up, how I'm using Obsidian features to navigate uh, through the pages. Okay, let's start from here, the blog, because Obsidian Publish doesn't have a blog. I created this structure here, I invented this structure here. So as you can see here, that these are the titles, I created this order, this is a note that links to other notes. So let's go to this one here, why blue sky? The way I'm organizing things here is using tags. These are regular Obsidian tags, but when we publish this, if I click here, for example, on blue sky, you see all the posts that have the blue sky uh, tag. And this tag can be in line like this one here, or it can be a property. And if you don't know what a property is, there is a video here explaining what, what they are and how to use them. So if I click on this one here, Again, I can see, and I can jump to another uh, post. Oh, if I click here, I'm jumping to another post. And here again, there are other uh, tags that I can click on, or I can click on any of the links. But there is something interesting here. Obsidian tells us that this is an external link. As you can see, there's this square with the arrow pointing out. This is an external link. So I know that this is external and this one here is internal. And if I click here, I can also go to that post. And here again, there are some external links and some internal links. But down here, we have the link back to that post. So all the pages that have link backs they will will display the link backs here so I can go back to that link. So this is how I set up the, the blog, because again, there is no blog on Obsidian. And for now, I'm not gonna use the graph field. I showed that on a recent video. I think it's too distracting. I prefer this more inline reading and I love this that I can click on a tag and take a look at some of the other posts and go to those posts if I want to. So let's go to, oh, and by the way, these are the same pages I already had on the other side. They are just ordered and displayed in a different way here. So let's take a look at pale blue dot here, which are the places I've been to. And as you can see here, the same thing happens to the tags. I, for now I'm using the old, uh, page which didn't have the tags because the other blog didn't support this. So I'm gradually adding tags here. And again, if I click here, I can see all the posts about Boston. It's so cool. I'm really enjoying this. I can go all the way back, let's say here, and take a look at the day I spilled coffee and bought my AeroPress. And again, I can click here and take a look at all the posts that have that tag, pretty cool. Okay, so that's how I'm organizing the blog, but what made me move to Obsidian Publish was this structure here. This is where I wanna put a lot of energy when I'm done moving to Obsidian Publish and organizing all the legacy <laughs> posts, all the legacy notes. 
Oh, and by the way, if you don't like the dark theme, you can click here and switch to white. So let's let's keep it like this because I, I think for recording, it's a better theme. The first thing I created here, this is still a draft. I just wanted to put something here, was an explanation of what the toolbox is. This will evolve to something much, uh, much better with more details. But here, I'm starting to add the items that I already have. There are some posts that are blog posts, but they in reality, they explain something and they were lost in the blog timeline, which was not useful. And this is what I was talking about. So part of my work has been to crop this part of the post and create a help enter, if you will. And here you see that this is linked to a blog post because it was originally part of a blog post. It's this part here. And this here is this. So if this instruction uh, someday changes, I can edit this part here and it will automatically edit this other part here. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do. So let me show you another one here. This is what I wanted to do, create this help center that is linked to the blog posts because the blog posts, they kind of disappear in the timeline. And here it, you can just go to what you want to go to and take a look at it. Again, this is part of uh, a, a much larger uh, post. And if I change something here, it will change there. And this is so cool because someone that just went help, let's say with Obsidian, the person can come here, okay, for beginners and Obsidian properties for beginners. For now, there's just a video here, but there's going to be a little text. Again, uh, templates, uh, web clipper. Here's uh, some explanation about the web clipper. In this is used to be a blog post. There is no, the blog post was just this, was a simple blog post. So instead of keeping it as a blog post, I converted it into this help uh, note and plugins, voice note plugins. So again, there's something that I can add to a post. So there is a larger post here and I added this plugin, this explain, not plugin, this explanation, this little widget to this page. And this is exactly this. So I'm so happy with this. Um, some other uh, explanations here. For example, what is a canonical link? And there is an article where I talk about this. So this box is here. They are uh, this uh, learning center posts, the super node and so on. So all this, I didn't create, I, I guess I created two or three of this uh, posts here, but most of them, they were parts of blog posts that I converted to this uh, help post here. So this is the one uh, explaining how to install a side load uh, Android uh, apps to the Supernote. And if someday they change this, I can update this page and this will update the blog post where I'm talking about how I'm using Obsidian on the Supernode. Okay. And finally, there is this maker section here. With, let, let's close this one here, uh, which for now only has the Apple IIe project. All this, they were posts, they were loose posts that were lost in the blog timeline. And here, they are still posts. I can still go to uh, this timeline here and see them here. But in this case, I organize them here in this structure. So disk, uh, the disk to arrived, how to fix the disk to, and so on. So I have uh, a more organized space for someone who wants to learn more about how restoring uh, an, an Apple to E. So this is what I'm going to do with all my projects. If I write a post, a blog post, I'll create a, a about something new. I'll create a new topic here and add that that uh, all the, the the content about that topic here under Maker. So this is 
why I wanted to move uh, to Obsidian Publish. Not, not Obsidian Publish, I wanted something like this where I could have a blog structure and also this space where I can help people learn with all the, the topics I'm constantly talking about. It's not a good blogging experience. I mean, it's the same. The writing part is the same and I can still uh, share this page. It has a link. Uh, it's, it's like a, a blog, a, a side page. But it, I wish this was a little bit more <laughs> like a blog with all the posts one uh, below the other. But it's okay because I don't believe people will come to the site to read the blog. The blog, the post will be read, will be clicked on from social media. When I post a, a post, when I publish a link to a post on social media, that's how people click and come to the blog. So it's not that people will come here and start taking a look. Some people might, but I, I don't think the majority of people will do this, come here and scroll this page and look for a post. It's more a real time thing. Uh, clicking from social media. Okay, this is the current status. I, I, I may change, tweak some things here, but this is what I wanted to show you because I'm pretty happy with this structure and the tags and linking and everything. Even not turning on the graph field, I'm really happy with this uh, structure here, the way things are, 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 are coming together. Please let me know what you think about this. And again, I'll soon post a more detailed video, kind of a, not a tutorial, but showing you how to use uh, Obsidian Publish and everything that you can do. Some people are also asking me some questions. Keep asking your questions here about privacy, publishing, some the risks of publishing a private note. Please keep adding the questions because I'll put all that together and, and share with you the answers on that uh, how-to video. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.